In this example, we're going to look at how we make a scatter plot that has two x-axes. Now the two x-axes here that I want are these two series, the j-type thermocouple counter and the t-type. So they're both going to be separate lines, but they're both going to be on the x-axes rather than the y-axes. So, as always, our x-axis variables have to be on the left um, of our y-axis, so I'm going to make a graph first with just j-type counters and um, the temperature. So if I just highlight these two columns here, insert, again I want a scatter plot, I want straight lines, and I want marker options. Alright, so I just have the one series at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and fix my axes. Um, so if I left click, or sorry, if I click on the, um, the left axis, the y axis, right click, format axes. Alright, and again here where the horizontal line crosses, um, I don't really want it to be the maximum value, and I don't want it to be zero, so I'm going to specify a value, and I want it to be at the bottom, which is minus 120. If I just click that again, you'll see that it automatically adjusts, so that's exactly what I want. Now what I need to do is add on my second series. So if I click on my graph, not sure what just happened there, um, right click and say select data. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I, I want to edit this um, first series. It's not really temp C, it's actually the J type counter. So I'm going to click on edit and you see where it says series name in this box here. I can either type a name or I can click on a cell. So I'm going to delete the contents and I'm going to go ahead and click on that cell because that's the title that I want for that series and then click OK because my values are fine. I just wanted to edit the name of it. Now I want to add my T type counter. So if we click on add, the name of my series is T type. So I'm going to click on this cell here. My x axis values are my T type counters and my y axis values. I'm going to delete that and select all of my temperatures and then go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now I've got my T type counters and my J type. Click OK. Alright, so just like with our other graph, I would need to go up here and um, move my legend, so I'm going to put it on the bottom, and then go ahead and format my uh, axes just as we did for the previous graph. So um, if we right click on here, format axes, you can see uh, from this graph I want the minimum value to be 250, so I'm going to change that. And I want my maximum value to be 1150. Click on that again. And I want to add in some minor label ticks, and these ticks are halfway between the two, so my major axis is 200, so that means my minor axis should be 100. And in order to see them, I need to say that my minor tick mark type should be inside. And I'm going to do something similar for the Y axis, so if I click here, I want to add in some minor tick labels. My major um, ticks, my major units are OK but I want to add minor ticks halfway through, so I'm going to say that these should be um, 10 because my major axis is 20 and add inside. So now I've got my um, Y and X axes to match. On the left, the only other thing I hadn't showed you before was the grid line, so I'm going to say no grid line and that makes the graph match. So the only things you need to do now are add some titles and go ahead and format the lines just like we did for the first example.